Well, it is a bit of a much nicer morning, I guess you might say. Uh, you know, yesterday when I was going through the comments, at least three people, some of my uh, Australian friends, were mentioning about the the uh, the uh, the rain and the flooding they're having. I was talking about rain, and so they mentioned they were having rain and flooding. So I went on the Google News and I Googled it, and sure enough, and I was feeling a little bit of a, a ashamed of myself that uh, you know here uh, here here we are complaining about uh, a little bit of drizzle yesterday morning, and uh, some some people down in Australia are experiencing flooding. Now here in Winnipeg, uh, we've had some pretty bad floods too, so uh, I can sympathize. So our, our thoughts are with you guys. Uh, yeah. All right, what do we need here? Okay, we need the D sheet. Okay, there are two D sheets. Uh, we'll move in every and everything a little closer in a, in a minute here. Uh, speaking of photo etch, okay, there's a there's a lot of photo etch that that comes with these kits, uh, and for me there was en enough to know that uh, I basically don't like doing photo etch. Now, now here's here's the thing. Uh, Earlier this morning I was checking my Facebook and one of my Facebook friends, or maybe I should say Facebook acquaintances, has just recently got the 1-200 scale uh, trumpeter, or yeah, the 1-200 scale trumpeter uh, Titanic. And uh, I know when that first came out a little over a year ago here in Winnipeg, uh, I was very seriously thinking about it, and then I thought, no, we're we're going to do the hood and and so on, and let's try and get these three ships uh, done that were sort of they sort of go together as sort of like a trilogy, you might say. Uh, you know, the Bismarck, the Hood, and the Rodney. They they're sort of like what I would call a trilogy, and uh, because they were all involved in that famous battle. Now, where am I going with this? Uh, uh, for me to get the, say, the Titanic, and then also get the Pontos, uh, or, or or even some other brand of add-on photo etch kit for for detailing, the extra detailing, that would be a mistake. And I think I commented uh, to the, to the, my Facebook acquaintance that to the effect of. Uh, I, I I would just build it as it is. There's there's enough photo etch comes in the kits uh, that it's going to you know give fairly fairly nice detailing. Uh, you know even with just a lot of the plastic parts, it, it's going to look really impressive in the case. Now that was that was just my opinion, and and my opinion is only right for me. It that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best opinion, but it's right for me. Now, if you're wanting to to get a, a, a kit like this and do and get the extra uh, detailing kits that go with it, uh, that might be right for you. For instance, uh, there's a, another uh, Facebook friend in Australia who's who's uh, doing a 700 scale right now, and he's he seems to be really good with photo etch. Uh, some people are better at it than others, or maybe some people enjoy it better than others. It's not that. I can't do it. It's just that I personally find it just way too, uh, you might say, finicky. Uh, it's too fiddly. I would far, far have, uh, I would per have preferred the same thing in plastic, in f in high definition plastic, and be able to glue it on easily than in, you know, in brass and have to form everything. Now that's just my opinion, and. Uh, 
a lot of a lot of people like to fiddle around. Another thing somebody was mentioning when, about that Titanic kit that this fellow's got. Oh, there's there's the inaccuracies in in the model. Uh, I would not go messing around trying to trying to uh, correct inaccuracies. I just build it the way it uh, is, right out of the box, and accept the fact that maybe the 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 bow was uh, you know a, a, a few degrees. Uh, too too uh, too thick or a little bit wrong or something like that. That wouldn't bother me when it's sitting in the display case. Ninety nine point nine percent of anybody who sees it is not going to know the difference. They're going to be impressed with what they see. Now that's just my opinion. Now uh, let's let's get on here. If I think of anything else I wanted to mention, I'll probably uh, insert it somewhere in the. I gotta clean up here a little bit anyway. Now, when I am watching some of these very, you might say, gifted modelers, and they are doing the Pontos or any detailing kit on their particular ship, like say for instance the Hood or the Bismarck that we just did, uh, what happens to me is that I find that I sort of feel inadequate. Um, um, I don't know. It, 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 and, and that is wrong. I should not feel that way. Um, I think the point that I'm trying to get across is that what, what, we, what we do to have fun shouldn't go beyond our our abilities uh, you know and 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 a detailing kit is beyond my comfort zone you might say and uh, yeah so uh, you you may not uh, uh, you know want to to do the detailing kit either but you're being you're being held back from making a model because you feel that if to do it right, you've got to do the detailing kit, and that's not right. Uh, you you don't have to do that uh, to have fun. Uh, just build it right out of the box, and it doesn't have to be 200 scale, and it doesn't have to be a ship. <laughs> okay, let's uh, I, once again I beat something to death. <laughs> Now, when I beat something to death, boy, do I ever beat it to death. And I just I just want to make sure that I am not misunderstood as to what I'm trying to say here. And do you remember way back, uh, oh, three, four weeks ago, when, when Scott took his channel down? Well, Scott put up a, 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 the, the video just before he took his channel down. He, I could sense that he seemed like maybe he was discouraged. And he, I sort of sensed that he felt that he had to do uh, what the what the viewers wanted to to uh, be successful, I guess you might say, in 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 his build. And I said something to the effect of, "You got to do what what is right for you, because if you if you don't, you're not going to be happy." Now I didn't put it in exactly those words. I'll see if I can find it, and I'll I'll uh, superimpose it here in the in the scene. But, uh, yeah, do what is fun for you, and don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Because if you try to copy somebody else, you're probably, probably going to end up being unhappy with, with your build, and you're probably not even going to finish it. Um, you know, sure, take advice and, from somebody, uh, you know, from some of these skilled modelers, uh, but, but you don't have to do everything exactly the way that they are doing it, for you to be successful in your build. Do what is best for you. Now, let's get on with this. Okay, you'll, you'll notice here, we have to get D55 and 56. Now, I, I'm looking at these, they're actually, for some reason, they're different. Like here, here's 55 and here's 56. And, uh, and you would think that they, they almost look like mirror images of each other. Why couldn't you just flip it over? But there must be some very minute difference in them. So I guess when uh, 
uh, when we when I nip them off of here, I'm going to have to label them and keep them separate. Let's try and do that. Okay, we'll do the 55s first. Now I can see here where 55 is different from 56. It, it is what you would call mirror image, but being that they do have to be bent somehow later, if we bent them both the same way, they, they wouldn't be the same. Anyway, very, very carefully here now. These are going to be very fragile. Now you'll notice on the end here there's there's a like a little hook that comes down. I want to nip it off just right at that hook there. Now very, very gently here with my tweezer. Okay, let's label that. Now I heard a little voice saying, I'll bet you you can't do that again. Well, I'm not going to bet because whenever I get so sure that I'll bet, now I only bet on sure things. Okay, this one I have to come in from the other side. Okay, it's loose. Now this little nip that I'm doing right now, this is the kind of nip that you got to be a real professional if I was to get a little bit too much of the tab and left it on the part. Trying to sand the tab off was... Well, there are people that can do it. I suppose I could if I was to, uh, you know, mount it in some sort of a special vise and very gently sand it down, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, I think I did pretty good. Now we have to make three of these little optical units, so that means we need three 55s and three 56s. So I just grabbed the other D sheet and took the other one off. I know I didn't show it being done, but that's all right. I did it exactly the same way, and I think it went just as well. Now, let's go out in the yard, because I want to show you something. Something that is important to me. I watch for it every year. This is the last of the winter snow. Just a couple of little patches here. And uh, I watch for this every year. Uh, usually we have two very large drifts in the air, in the yard here. Uh, there's usually one right here. And then there's another one, oh, just where I'm pointing here. And it sort of varies. Sometimes that one is the last to go, and sometimes this one is the last to go. Anyway, it, that's kind of important to me. The winter snow is leaving the yard. Now, that does not mean that we won't have more snow. This time of year here in Winnipeg, we can get more snow. But it won't be winter snow. It won't be, it won't last. It'll be like getting snow down in Texas. Now there's going to be people who are going to say, where's Texas? Just like people are saying, where's Winnipeg? Anyway, uh, 
Yeah, but you know, that's, that's kind of important to me. Now I know we're, we're shooting into the sun here, so it's not the, uh, the best shot, but I guess, uh, I think you got the gist of it. Yeah, it's sure nice to see it go. <clears throat> now, wasn't that fun? I'll bet you a lot of you pushed the pause button and Googled in, where is Texas? <laughs> I'll bet you Owen on Staten Island had to. If he doesn't know where Canada is, he won't know where Texas is either. Anyway, we don't need any photo etch here for this uh, spotlight, floodlight, whatever. We need photo etch for this part right here. And it's all on the A sheet. So let's see if we can find, uh, all right, uh, something easy here, A10. Okay, A10 is right here. That's this piece right here. Got a little bit of Windex on one of Tennessee Jim's mini Q-tips here. And uh, yeah, if we rub that off, we can see it. You know, I'm just sort of wondering now if, if possibly it was a mistake to have, you know, sprayed these these parts. The idea was that I was supposed to spray the railing, if you remember. And uh, maybe I should have done a better job to have masked other stuff off. Now, now this is, is going to have to be pa painted anyway. I don't know if it's going to be painted gray, though. It'll be painted something. And then uh, the very, very, very fine mesh that's there you know, because I've sprayed it with gray and then I'm going to be spraying it with, with something else, uh, it, it's going to uh, want to fill in more than it necessarily has to. Uh, now, this this piece from here to here, it all has to be folded up. It's only going to be half this long. And and this piece under it right here, well, that's going to be obviously folded. You can, you know what, let's put the macro lens on and, and nip this off and, and I'll stop talking here. Excuse me, there's there's four tabs on this side as well. I think maybe to get those four, I'm just going to turn everything around here. Okay, get it nice and centered. And we'll tape it down. By the way, I, I love this uh, little chisel that I made. There may be something better for doing photo etch, and, and it could be that you have better luck using a, you know, the number 11 hobby knife blade. But for me, this, this works pretty good. It's, doesn't want to lift off there, very. Oh, here we go. Very gently, very gently. Now I realize that this is a number 10, it is not a number 55. But you know, I think it's so obvious what it is, it doesn't need a tuna fish tin all of its own with a number that says 10. Um, anyway, um, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, uh, treat this with the uh, Windex and then put it in the ultrasonic cleaner and remove all of this, this paint. Um, yeah, I think that... Uh, I'll have a, a little better luck, you know, getting it together, and because it has to be, it has to be folded, I believe, right here, and then the, this piece has to be folded underneath. Well, we'll be doing that tomorrow. We're kind of running out of time here, so uh, thanks for watching, folks, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.